So I've been having some electrical trouble with my car and I haven't been able to diagnose it or really you know, work on it at all. I haven't had time for it. So as a stopgap, I decided I was just going to install a, uh, a battery disconnect switch and that would, you know, take care of the problem with voltage drain. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And this is, this is great uh, if you have a vehicle that you drive on occasion. This is a great way to save the battery if you have an RV or, or something like that. Just a very quick, easy way to take the voltage load off so the battery doesn't drain so quickly. I picked up this battery disconnect switch from Harbor Freight for about $5. You don't have to get it from Harbor Freight, of course. I'll drop a link to something similar in the doobly-doo for your reference. Jesus, that's a mess! This is what living in South Georgia for a few years can do to a car. I don't recommend it. Also, you've probably noticed that I'm doing this as a series of stills. That's because there was no way that I was going to be able to fit a camera on a tripod, much less enough light, in the boot of my tiny car to get video. So I just shot stills. At least you can see what's going on. Two by two, hands of blue. Actually, sulfuric acid is no joke, and neither is lead exposure. You don't really want to touch that stuff if you can help it. Show some love. Put on a glove. So you'll want to reach in and disconnect the negative lead from the battery, and that's the black one. Do this by loosening the bolt that holds the lead clamp down on the terminal. Don't ask me what size wrench to use because they're all different. I used a 12mm end wrench on my car, but yours may vary. <laughs> all that dielectric grease makes it look like Dexter Morgan was here, but at least there's no corrosion. Now. Just clamp the lead onto the shank end of the disconnect switch. The switch has its own terminal clamp that you'll need to loosen a bit in order to fit it on the battery terminal, but a little finesse will get it snug on there. Then you just focus, you f That's better. Then you just take your end wrench and tighten the clamp down. That's it, all finished. Righty tighty engages the electrical system, lefty loosey disengages it. That's really all there is to it. it. It's a very simple installation. You follow the direction, you follow the photos here in this uh, little, little video. So, you know, if you like this video, absolutely give it a like, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends even. For more stuff, you can subscribe. I appreciate that, and uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, tally-ho, y'all.